Hi guys, welcome to my Chinese watch collection. My name is Aviv. If it's your first time watching one of my videos, first of all, I want to welcome you and tell you that I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button, check out some more videos I made, and also hit that little bell button so you can get notified when I upload new videos to my channel. If it's not the first time you're watching one of my videos, uh, you probably know this watch already. This is the Megear ML. 2011G and I uploaded the review for this watch uh, about a week ago and um, I said that I really like this watch it's a quartz chronograph and the only thing that bugs me about it is the misalignment of the hand in the sub dial on the 12 o'clock position which counts the uh, one tenth of a second for the chronograph someone commented on the comment section of that video that there is a way to fix it and that it's actually something that happens all the time uh, with chronograph watches and they even put a link for a video for me to check out but for some reason uh, that person deleted this comment so I can't uh, credit him for opening my eyes on that matter so I did a, a little digging and uh, on this video I'm going to show you how to realign misaligned chronograph hands on a quartz watch. Okay, hi everybody. So like I said, I reviewed this watch about a week ago. I'll put the link in the description below for you to check this video. And also it will pop somewhere around here in three, two, one. So if you're interested uh, in finding out more about this watch, click there. Okay, so let's get right into it. You can see that the hand on the 12 o'clock sub dial is misaligned when I use the chronograph stop it reset it it doesn't go back to zero i thought it was a glitch in the watch or something and maybe i dropped it or something and uh, it can't be fixed apparently it's uh, something that happens all the time with the chronographs uh, both automatic and uh, quartz chronographs like this one it happens sometimes uh, when you change the battery of the watch or if you drop it or get it treated uh, uh, in any way. So what you need to do, pull the crown out, all the way out. And when I push this top pusher right here, you see the hand moving. Each click takes it one tenth of a second forward. So all I have to do is push it until it gets to the zero point and push the crown back. That's it. If I need to realign the hand on the bottom dial on the six o'clock position, I use the bottom pusher on the four o'clock position. Again, I can do a long press to get it moving. You can see that the, the hand on the dial on the left side, on the nine o'clock position, moves as I move the second. This is the minute dial. To get them both aligned together, I need to push the button pusher, let it spin until the minute hand gets back to its 60 or 12 o'clock position. So I'm going to speed the video up so you don't get bored and leave this video. So when you get closer to the zero point, you should stop and manually click every click. I can see that it still needs to go another full circle. And there you go. All the hands are aligned in their sub dials. I'm very happy about that. I thought I'm going to have to put up with this 
eyesore but I don't and you can also fix the alignment on your coronagraph watch if you have any so first of all thank you very much for the anonymous commenter that deleted this uh, comment if you're out there and you're watching this video please comment so we can all know who you are and I can uh, credit you properly I put a link for the review I made for this McGee watch in the description below I will also put a link for you to buy it on Aliexpress if you want it if you like this video and found it helpful in any way I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel where I talk about my collection of mostly Chinese watches review my watches and give you some tips and tricks like today about taking care of your watches by yourselves and about shopping Aliexpress. You can also follow me on Instagram where you can get to know me and my collection a little bit better, uh, connect with me on a more personal level and even see which watch I'm wearing every day. I wear a different one every day. So if you're on Instagram, um, come check out my page. Okay, I think I talked enough for this tutorial video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.